And so my conquest ends, Sid. In smoke and ashes. Here, feel, think. Warrior of light, beloved daughter. The darkness hath fled before the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. Yet it lingereth still, beyond the sight of men, in forgotten corners of the world. In the depths of the abyss yet resideth the Dark One, watchful ever. Till this evil be cast out, never shall the world know aught but a passing peace. Yet for the present, a gentle light shineth o'er the realm of Eorzea. with thee at its heart. From sparkling moat shall it swell to glorious sun, and all the world shall bask in its warmth. Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for Eorzea and the lands beyond through all the days of thy life. My lady, all Twin Adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Admiral, all hands accounted for. She's still in there. Sid, has there been no word? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Damnation! She's going to make it, I know she is! Ida is right. We must have faith. Sid, can they not be evacuated aboard the Enterprise? That adventurer and the Scions are as the Warriors of Light reborn. We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again! I wholeheartedly agree, but flying into the midst of that would only add to the firework. There must be something we can do. Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light her way through the darkness. Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return safe to thee, reach out to them now.
You almost got us killed that one time, remember? Now, now. We both know that was your fault. Thank the Twelve, we're safe. Mind your horns there, Manbull. Ha! Mayhap when you mind your manners. Though the crystal that bound Thancred is no more, I doubt we can say the same of La Habrea. And even if we could, we know that he is not alone. Confounded Assians. Their god may be unknown to us, but their zeal is unquestionable. Suffice it to say, it would be folly to assume that they no longer pose a threat. Nevertheless... For now, we must savor what peace we have won, however ephemeral. Do you see, Grandfather? Our first step towards realizing the dream for which you gave your life. The dread night of Imperial tyranny and Asian machination is ended. A new day now begins in Eorzea. True to their name, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, along with our champion, have delivered us from darkness. Let their shared victory serve to remind us of our shared history and let their bravery in the face of adversity inspire future generations. Doubt not, the realm will need bravery in the days to come. Old rifts threaten to divide us within our walls, while hordes of beastmen claw at our gates. And though the Black Wolf be slain, the rest of the pack remains. Yet no foe need we fear, so long as we stand as one. So long as the Scion stand for peace. So long as our champion stands fast. For there exists no adversity over which we may not jointly prevail. No longer can we turn a blind eye to the suffering of our allies. No nation stands alone. If one should fall, so shall we all. Eorzea is our shared home. For any one of us to know peace, so too must our neighbor. Just as we join in solidarity before you this day, so too shall our grand companies be joined henceforth to strive not only for the good of mere nations, but for the good of all the realm. Change will not come overnight. Yet I foresee a day, not so very far from now, when the lines that divide our lands fade, and all of Eorzea is one. It has been but five short years since the Battle of Cartano. Five years since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. No victory, however sweet, can wash away our bitter sorrows. No triumph can reclaim those we lost. Yet do not presume you honor them by dwelling on the past. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by looking to the future. A future united! as the warriors of light united in the champion. 
Now is the time for us to rise as one, bearing all of Eorzea on our shoulders. Five years ago, Eorzea bore witness to the end of the Sixth Astral Era. Now, the Seventh Umbral Era draws to a close, yet we come together not to glory in its end, but to mark a new beginning. Let it be writ that on this day, by the light of the crystal, Eorzea ushered in a new era. The Seventh Astral Era is come! And thus is ours a realm reborn!